Now in this video I'm going to demonstrate two extra properties, the texture repeat and the texture center. A texture will sit on a geometry depending on its UV coordinates. A UV is like X and Y on a 2D plane. There's a page on Wikipedia about UV mapping and it describes UV denote the axis on the 2D texture because X, Y and Z are already used to denote the axis of the 3D object in model space. This is an example. Here's a texture. Its coordinates are then converted to a geometry, a sphere in this case. And here's another example. There's a texture and it's mapped onto a cube using UV coordinates. So that's what we're seeing here. The world image has been mapped onto this plane, onto these four vertices. Now the UV coordinates. So what I'll do is demonstrate adjusting the UV coordinates of the texture so that it sits in different places on the plane. And for a bit of extra context on why I'm using this approach, the problem I want to solve in this example here is I want to be able to zoom much further into one of the areas on this earth. So each of my vertices is one degree latitude and longitude. The image that I'm using for the displacement map is 5,400 by 2,700. That equates to one pixel per one minute on the Earth. So that's the kind of resolution we could achieve using that image. So one way we can increase the resolution is to actually create a geometry with many more vertices. For example, 1440 by 720. This will give me one vertice for every 15 minutes on the Earth, latitude and longitude. So let's refresh that. Now my computer took quite a few seconds then to actually generate that underlying model with all those extra vertices. So if waiting that to be built is not a problem for you, that's one way you can do it. So what I'm gonna do now is add some controls to the GUI which modify the UV coordinates of the material which contains the colored world image plus the displacement map and we'll see what happens. Okay, so scroll down and uncomment this section here. And it's creating four new controls for us. One modifies the repeat property and the other modifies the center. So before I change that, let's set that back to 360, 180, so it's not working so hard. Now refresh. Okay, put in the wireframe. frame. Let's make those smaller. Now let's look at the repeat here. So what I'm doing is reducing the size of the repeat. So it's only drawing a small section of the material. I can zoom right in like so. And then the X and Y here, that's the center. So now it actually scrolls right, left, and up and down. Now I'm able to get a much higher resolution of vertices just by changing the dimensions of the UV coordinates on the material, like that. Very effective just for a little bit of code. If I zoom out, say 0.5. You see we're seeing a quarter of the earth now. 